Have you heard of PrEP? It's one of many choices for HIV-negative people to help prevent HIV. PrEP, which stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis, is a highly effective way to prevent HIV. It involves taking prescription medication on an ongoing basis. PrEP is available in pill form or as an injection given by a healthcare provider. When taken as prescribed, PrEP is highly effective at preventing HIV. PrEP is for anyone who is HIV negative and at ongoing risk for HIV from sex or drug use. It can be used by people of all genders and sexual orientations. PrEP is safe and usually well tolerated, and most people report no side effects. The cost of PrEP may be covered by your private health care plan or public health insurance. So, how does PrEP prevent HIV transmission? Let's start with how HIV infection happens. HIV typically enters the body through unprotected sex or sharing injection drug use equipment. After HIV has entered the body, it targets the CD4 cells in the immune system and begins to replicate within them, creating millions of copies of itself. These copies then go out into the body and find more CD4 cells and use them to make even more copies. The immune system tries to stop the cells from multiplying. But if the immune cells can't keep up, the HIV infection spreads to other parts of the body. At this stage, the infection becomes permanent. Now, back to how PrEP prevents HIV. When a person starts taking PrEP, the medication reaches high concentrations in the places where HIV can enter the body, such as the bloodstream, genital, and rectal tissues. The medication prevents HIV from making copies of itself in CD4 cells. Since HIV can't replicate, the immune system can clear it from the body, preventing a permanent infection. This is why it is so important to take PrEP as prescribed to ensure there is enough of the medication in your body to stop HIV from replicating. When a person takes PrEP as prescribed, it is rare for HIV infection to happen. If you think PrEP might be a good option for you, be sure to speak to your healthcare provider or your local HIV organization to learn more.